Hi there! It's just you and me today. Well, probably more than just one of you, but at least, you know, there's no chat here. So it's just really just me here talking to you guys. You know, the old fashioned way. Uh, and I'm doing this because I noticed that when I went through and edited the Oxnard Occluded videos that I was down one episode for the week. I like to have the episodes go, uh, you know, like about five a week. I think that's pretty good. Uh, especially for those of you guys who like to, you know, kind of keep a nice rotation and have a nice steady, you know, sleep schedule and whatnot. So I try to keep all that stuff going uh, at that rate, right? About five a week. I was only at four. Now, Normally I would just say, you know what, I'll just, it'll be fine, like, we'll, we'll live, we'll just have like one, one, one episode is totally not gonna kill anything, right? But, what is this, what is this dense puff, what the heck, I have never seen one of these! Uh, see how 25, okay, middle aged, let me see, uh, hopefully, what does he drop? Uh, he, oh, oxalite, oh wow, oh, hopefully prints, dense, it's a 2% chance, wow, huh, interesting, just straight up oxalite, crazy, uh, so anyways, uh, the reason why I wanted to get in here and, and play a little bit more, uh, at least at least one more episode, however long it takes, right, uh, is because I really didn't like how we left off in the last episode. In the last episode, uh, Thursday's episode, yesterday's episode, uh, there was just too much, too many issues that I was running into towards the end there, and I was running out of time. I had to leave early for a shoot, and you know, it was, it was just like it was eating away at me. It was like, like it, seriously, it was like going to bed at night and just thinking, what can I do to fix this problem? Uh, and one of the issues that we had was that we were trying to transport steam from point A to point. B and the shit was just getting too cold or well I don't know cold is the word but it was cooling just enough where it goes through a phase change and it was turning from steam into let's go and get you guys moving here it was turning from steam into water inside the pipes and it's still doing it right now actually uh and this is a problem it's it's this is a problem it's just not something that I was uh, it's just not something I prepared for uh and so I feel like until I figure out a way to make this actually work, I think the best thing I should probably do is go through and sever this connection and not allow this to, uh, well, basically just not do any more. Let's cut it right here. Uh, not not mess with, with steam right now because the, the, ish, the reason why I wanted to get that steam out is because I wanted to get that, uh, do something with all this steam and, and try to convert it into water because I'm running into this issue here. And so, Here's what I came up with in order to solve the issue of having too much steam in this room. Uh, I could I could do the aqua tuner thing, right, or the uh, thermal tuner, whatever, to try to cool the uh, the oxygen or cool the uh, air going through with the steam, I guess. Uh, but that's gonna be a bit of a, that should be in here. Oh, it's a utility, isn't it? That's right. How many hours do I have in this thing? Uh, thermal regulator. That's what it's called. Uh, that would be a solution for sure. Like just pop one here and just let the thing go. But I think what I'll do instead is try to stick with the more natural route the way I've been doing it with all of these wheeze warts. Uh, if you notice up here, the wheeze warts are at body temperature. It's because they're actually topped off too cold, right? They're bar bottomed out too cold, which is good because once they reach this state, they're not using as much phosphorite again. So if I am sitting at 7.3 tons of phosphorite, I could probably take some of that. I could probably afford to use some of that to start up a new one of these uh, little cells and Instead of pumping through water and, and, and oxygen, because there's all kinds of stuff going through here, like this is a multi-purpose room, well the bottom one is anyway. Um, instead of you know, doing it that way, what I'll do is I'll just take some of this existing hydrogen in this room, because there's lots of it, it's already 90 something degrees, and I'll just have it pipe through and just very slowly and gradually just start melting some of this away. I'll have a pipe out here, it's probably already one here. Uh, I'll have this pipe out here, or maybe I'll jump it and just have it sitting out in the middle, that way it has more coverage. Uh, and then I'll just basically put some radiant pipe or something, or maybe not even radiant pipe, because that's completely unnecessary, I feel like. Uh, just some uh, regular uh, regular pipe, just straight down here. And I'll let that be what basically does the uh, assist in the phase, phase change outside. So I should go ahead and get that started now, because that's definitely going to be used. And we'll go down to about here, and then we'll, we'll jump it over and we'll bring it in. I might end up killing this thing, but I think for the time being, this is totally fine. And so we'll go ahead and make our, uh, we'll go from the top to the bottom. Uh, yeah, we'll go from the top to the bottom here. There we go. And then we're gonna pull in, I and mean, this is gonna be kind of awkward because I need to pull this in, and I don't know, figure out something to do with this. But this is a lot of hydrogen, like a ton of hydrogen per tile. Like this is three times the amount that your, your dupes uh, are comfortable with being in, right? They walk in here, their ears pop. Um, well, without the suit, that is. So what I want to do is just, I'm just gonna build around this, let this just stay captured in that space, and then I'll figure out if I want to either grab it from inside of this space that I build, which I'll go ahead and get started here, or if I'll pump it in from outside and just start, like, create a loop. I don't need that much. 
You know, like the amount I need is barely gonna put a dent in what I have here. So let's go ahead and find the, uh, here we go. This is it here. What's the difference between these two? Uh, this is just a smaller one. No, this one, oh, this one has a vent. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with the one with the vent. Obviously it's a, it's an updated version of what I've been running before. And I think we only need three, honestly. I don't think we need that much, but we need everything else too though. So uh, I think it's fine with those ladders in the way for now. Let me see. It's gonna make things a bit awkward down there with that door trying to relieve pressure. <laughs> but, but whatever, it's fine. Um, let me just check, make sure there's nothing else. I think that is good. So we'll drop that there. Get that started. Uh, we're we'll going to break this ladder here. Well, actually, we'll leave it there because they're going to work on this stuff. And then what we'll do is we'll map everything else out. So I'll go ahead and take this here, break that out, and then we'll grab ventilation. Is there a door here? There's not. Let me go ahead and actually see insulate gas pipe, hydrogen. Let me see. We'll cancel just the buildings and we'll end up putting a door there. And we'll get the start. Just three should be fine. I mean, like we, I think we only have like four, probably four seeds or something. Let me see. Uh, water weed. Uh, which wart seed? Three. We have three. So there it is. Wow, we only have three. Hmm. Well, this is an important thing because we initially were not really having this problem uh, for a long time, and now all of a sudden it is. There is something else I want to do that will probably assist in this uh, pretty quickly, but it's also going to do some damage to um, uh, to the to the to the. I guess the thermal, the thermal regulation I currently have inside of the rest of the base, which is actually, oh, okay, I, th I saw it said barely breathable. Hold on, let's check this real quick. I don't have a panic attack. There's so much crap air getting into the system right now. It's driving me nuts. Oh, and then this right here, like this little pocket of depleted oxygen is never going to go away. Just, just, oh man, just, just so mad. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, a little bit of pipe on here, radiant pipe, right here along this chain. And then what I'm hoping happens is it's going to start doing a lot of conversion, a lot of phase state change, to everything around it in the immediate vicinity. It's going to it's going to basically superheat and neutralize the water that I have in here, and that water is going to get like pumped into the rest of the system uh, and get used for um, uh, you know distributing oxygen to the base. So that might cause some problems, but I think for right now we just got to do an immediate shift because we are using this water faster than we are replenishing it because of this problem and that and that then this whole system this whole build up here is going to take forever so let's go ahead and make this an emergency and we'll make it out of high thermal conductivity yeah we'll make it out of lead and we'll just do one two three those three right in the middle and actually you know what let's do this and then we're we'll going to speed things up a little bit that way we're not listening to the alarm forever and then mean, mean, meanwhile i'm gonna go ahead and end start taking care of this getting these guys mapped out here See granite, yep, yeah, sure. And then, so it's gonna go out where, oh, it looks like it's actually connected to this over here. So we're gonna go ahead and just copy out the gas pipes. Notice that the uh, uh, the alarm just went off. So that means that they did, they did just fix that. So we're gonna go take a look at that in just a minute. Do some inspection, make sure they did it right. And then we'll bring this up and over and up to there. Actually, we'll leave a gap just in case we need to jump something else in there. I notice I'm gonna be busting through some obsidian, which makes me so sad, but it's fine. Or abyssalite, rather. Uh, let me see. So they did this. Now let's see what happens here. If we watch this, we should see, uh, especially if we go to like maybe uh, liquid, we should start seeing some like blobs of liquid appear up here. Oh boy. <laughs> we sure are not. It's really heating up that water though. Huh. I'm surprised. I am surprised. I did expect this to actually do a little bit more. I wonder if I need more plumbing here. Let's go put some more lead. Emergency lead. And we'll just take this thing up a bit more. I wonder if it has something to do with, uh, or, you know, maybe it's just not enough space because these things are putting out heat. Right? Yeah, these things are putting out heat. That's probably it. So all they're really doing is neutralizing the heat that the, uh, the actual aqua tuners are putting out. So maybe we'll go ahead and cover the bottom. That might be the better solution. We'll cover the bottom here. Make sure we get all those, and we'll leave the top available. That might that might work. And then this, we'll go ahead and actually raise the values on this here, just to get these guys working on this as well. There we go. And that'll be done pretty quickly, and then we'll be able to put, um, you know, we'll use the Wii's warts to cool it down. It's right at 96 degrees, so it should take long for three of them to cool it down. Uh, we need conveyors hooked up as well, and power, actually. should probably go ahead and keep that in mind. Not a lot of power that's gonna need, but still. Still need some. And it looks like, uh, here's the wire here. Let's connect up to there. Cool. And this is for the door. What door has it on the top? I wonder what that's all about. Let's put an insulated door on this guy. Now that we have those, let's 
play a door. Okay, while well, they're done with all that. These guys are on it. Holy crap, why can't they do that one on plan? Let me see. Lead. Yeah, lead's fine. We're not worried about things overheating. Okay, we should probably I mean it's not necessary to have everything, you know? Oh, okay. Messed up. Let me see. Wire. And then we're gonna go match the nine. Uh, aluminum? No, what? Just use something. Well, I guess aluminum. Fine. I'll go lead, 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 lead. Lead is very inexpensive. Let me see. Or just, yeah, it's perfect for this. Because it gets hot and everything else. So let's see, are we getting, are we winning the battle here? I don't know. Uh, I feel like we're not. I really feel like we're not. So this, this plan is not really working out. So it's going in at 107, it's coming out 172. It's going in at 207, so we're still cheaper, or not cheaper, but she's still, uh, better in terms of... Hold on, let me see. This oxygen is still coming out cold. It's the hot oxygen, it's gonna be hotter, right? Let me see, let me come over here and take a look at some of this. 42, 38, 39, 43, 32, 34, 35. Just kinda see what this oxygen's at. There's a couple hundred, 140 in there somewhere. That seems about where it's supposed to be, 140. Especially, yeah, it could be straight off of the thing here. This little guy right here, 99. And this guy's coming in at, you know what? It looks fine for now. Yeah, so I'll, we'll just keep an eye on these guys doing this. I want to solve these just is these issues and then I'll feel better about ending the week. Because <laughs> right now I don't. I don't think I'm, get I'm getting any kind of state chains here. It's just too dense. Look at it. It's just too dense. Like it's going down. Yeah, okay. You know what? It's just too dense. That's all it is. So... This really, I mean, this this is, I, mean, I feel like now an example of what kind of failure we should expect from this setup now. Huh. Because if this, if this is too dense already for what's happening, oh my god. Oh no. This could be a much bigger problem than it seems. Maybe, maybe, you know what? Maybe a thermal aqua tuner is the way to go. Or a thermal regulator is the way to go. Go and cover this up. Let's go and take a look and see what we could do with this guy. We kind of have to make out of steel, of course. Oops, uh, more regulator. Yeah, so I'm gonna make it out of steel. Which we have, how much? 500? 5,000! Holy crap! All oh, these guys are busy! So we'll make 5,000 of that. And then, got all this liquid in the pipes, gonna start bursting as well. Oof, man. That thing's still exploding up there, isn't that crazy? So I think what we'll do is, yeah, like I said, we will hook this up to the main line here. It's gonna take some more electricity, but I think we're pretty much good on that right this second. So I'm not worried about that right now. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm not gonna worry about that. So we'll do this. And then obviously put something underneath it. Now it's not gonna work when it's underwater. So that's just gonna be a problem that we're gonna solve another time. Oh, that's also not gonna work too. Let me see. Let me move it over a little bit. Let me see. Stop for a second. I wanna make sure these guys stay on top of things here. Steel, boom, and then we'll run this cable over. Have you want conductive wire? Whoops, we'll do that. I don't think I did that to the other one. Build heavy wire, wire. Good. Okay, so. We just need to create a short loop for this. Just pump it in, pump it out. Pump it in, pump it out. It's gonna cool it for sure. And I feel like it might cool it, like, where it's gonna start turning into liquid, right? So, I don't know. Like, I'd say what? Ceramic? Uh, insulated? Right? Ceramic insulated. Let me see. Do I have any ceramic left? I use so much. I, okay, wow. I still have a lot of ceramic left. So yeah, I would say just kind of come straight out and just immediately go out and gasp, right? High pressure gas vent, of course. Although it may not work. Oh yeah, you know what? It may not work because it's not, um, there's too much heat build up. Oh man. Or too much pressure build up. Well, you should try it anyways because I, <laughs> because I don't know what else to do. Uh, let's make these out of ceramic as well, I guess, and then <laughs> just put it in here. Just in case the room gets too cold, you know? Just in case the room gets too cold somehow. So this should do it, right? Just just pump in, pump out. It's gonna drop it just enough and it should turn to liquid, maybe? Or something. I don't know. This is, again, this is gonna be our- oh my god. <laughs> There's automation behind this thing. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and erase the automation here. And then we'll make that an emergency. Let's see, well, the nine, rather. And yeah, we'll just go and destroy all of them. This, oh yeah, so I see why that's there. That's there just so I can open the door remotely. That's right. From another build, from another time, from another life. Oh my, so stupid. 
Okay, so they'll be over there, they'll take care of this, and they'll take care of this as well. Ceramic, yes. Sandstone, 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 and then ceramic, sure, why not? We have so much ceramic right now, I think it's totally fine if we decide to splurge a little bit on some ceramic. Man. Yeah, and they're probably busy. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Did he? What? What? <laughs> That's great, though. They have a juicer. Oh my god, they gotta be so happy. Look at Lindsay. It's like a little boba tea. That's great. It's super hot. Yes, it probably is, actually. It's 117 degrees. But. That's just the way it is right now. <laughs> That's just the way it is at the moment. Here we go. Okay, so we're getting some work done. Let's go and speed things up a little bit. Get Adonis. Late shift. See new printables available. See what we got coming in. Fungal spore. I'll take the fungal spore. I'm not going to bring anybody new in. Just a second. Just as soon as I check everything. Okay, yeah. No, nope. Not taken. So just check everything else here. Building overheat. Auto through telescope is final. Top. Building broken. Ceiling lights. Still. Huh. Um. Damn, that's annoying. I thought we took care of that, but I guess not. Why did it break? Don't know. Okay, well, uh, this should be pretty easy to fix. Damn, not really. I have to let them in here, which, yeah, it's fine. So we'll go auto for this one, and then we'll just remove this block here, or this block rather, and then they'll be able to take care of that, and then I'll tell them to come back and fix that soon. God, there's so much crap air in here too. And I'm pumping that back into the system. How am I doing that? Oh man, where's that going? It's going through to get cool, and it's being recirculated back into the base. I should probably just turn all those off. Should probably just let me see what's the quickest way to do that oh my god everything in here has a man let's just turn them off because there's this the wire is all it's not connected to the way it, oh never mind i see it's just uh yeah cool there's nothing up there to plug into so we will just go snip snip and good those are off the room will uh basically stay there uh, it might pump in whatever gas it has left but it won't do anything else and eventually it'll just uh empty out or it'll reach maximum pressure and then stop so now over here what do we have going on uh, they still have nuts on, oh, because that was such a, yes, please come do this right the second. I'm tired of waiting. Thank you. Yes, do the rest. Did not do the, the actual shipping part here. Conveyors. Um, that's not too hard to do. What am I making out of? It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Just like this. Okay, so we'll be getting to this soon. Nine on this door. And this right here, obviously waiting for yeah, waiting for steel and probably tons of ceramic. Ah, here we go. They're moving now. I don't know if this is gonna work, guys. I, I'm seriously I, I didn't look up any videos or anything on how to do this. Like I do I, I really do enjoy just getting here, figuring it out. It's it's just more fun that way. So even even if it like haunts me for a couple days, then I have to come back and <laughs> and make up for it. Come on, guys. I want to see this done. I want to see how this works, if at all. It's going to drop it. I, I don't know how much it's going to drop it. I don't know what steam. What's, react, what's the reaction of uh, the exchange rate for energy on steam? Let me see. Thermal connectivity, 0 0.102. What is uh, hydrogen? Hydrogen is uh, 0 0.093. Okay, so I guess that means that it would be able to... Um, it would convert about as quickly, but not as quickly as hydrogen. So that's what that pretty much means. Well, how funny that's just going to run, huh? What are you pumping that into, guy? I mean, yes, but no. <laughs> it's right. It's correct. At least it's the right pipe. <laughs> that little guy was going ham. He's ready. He was ready to do some work. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let me give my control back. Come on, guys. Come on. Who's got this on the errands? Donis. Donis, do it now. <laughs> do this one now, too. Current Aaron. Let's go. Plastic and steel. Bring them both. Same time. Let's do it, buddy. Food supplies are dropping, but but we anticipated this because of the way that we shifted the way uh, we shifted our uh, our overall usage. So these things are backing up because oh, they're waiting for aluminum ore, huh? But they still function, so I'm not gonna get mad. What the hell? Oh my god! What the the pips of <laughs> they're everywhere. Oh no! <laughs> what are they eating? What the hell? All right, Gabriel's going in. These guys gotta get built, but oh oh my gosh, it's already broken. <laughs> It's already broken. It's already broken, you know why? Because it works. Uh, so it is taking in the steam. It is trying to push it out, but it is, see, the steam is, uh, 
see, is there steam built up in a pipe? No, it doesn't actually say. Yeah, no, nope, just a problem. Oh, man. So what is it doing with all this, uh, all this gas, I wonder? All the gas is getting trapped in here immediately. And just, just, yeah. Look at all the movement we have going, though. So something's happening here. Like, we are getting some kind of movement, but I don't think it has anything to do with what I'm doing. If anything, I'm heating the room up. Biffy, what are you doing? Biffy, you shouldn't be doing this. What are you doing? Going to build. Alright, Biffy. Get a hold of yourself. Are you building this? Is those happening? <laughs> what are you doing? Current Aaron. Oh my god, she's, she's gonna die here, is she? So you move to here. Sometimes I, I don't know. Just don't know. Insufficient resources? What is this for? Iron. Oh, no, 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 iron. Okay, cool, that's fine. We'll go ahead and, and uh, cancel that. And we'll just replace it with literally any other metal that I have on file. Because nothing is going to uh, suffer from coal damage. Well, not that the, not the coldness that these guys are putting out. Coldness? <laughs> just gonna put a towel here. Just make that nice and neat. They'll come around and do that. Yes, we can get there. Yeah, wow. Uh, failure. Well, where's all this going? I have to know where this is going. I just don't know. I'm gonna let it run because I'm, I'm genuinely curious where that's going. Is it just getting backed up somewhere? Like... If we look at it, it's taking a 500 per. It should stop. I don't see any. No, no shuffling here. Interesting. Well, well, we let it go. We wait for this to finish, and this is going to be our savior here. Come on, give me control. There's already phosphorite ready to go. Phosphorite. Okay, good. Okay, good. Plus nine. This. Get these guys in here. And then what we'll do is connect this guy to this and then let it let it fill it up, which it should do. It should run it all the way around. Oh, that's not done yet. Oh, interesting. I guess they're not gonna dig through unreachable. Oh, it is unreachable. Huh. Well, would you look at that? I should do it. Go with this. Go ahead and replace that with a brick. What's that brick made out of? Is obsidian? That's fine. I'm not really, I'm not really worried about that right now. This is not a right now problem. An actual tomorrow me problem. Okay. Is this steam still chilling here? No, okay, they used, they used it all. Which is fine. We'll tear it down. We'll build something else. I don't know. It was a total pipe train. I was like, yeah, let's have a cool, like, like theme park down here for the dupes. And I don't know if that's such a good idea anymore. <laughs> I don't know if they need it. You know, they're, they're already so happy. Uh, food kilocalories is dropping immensely. What is that? What are we not doing here? Let's check the foods. Let's see, this is disable automatic grit. Ah, so something has been flipped. Oh, it's because I'm running. Uh, okay. So I need to run like a not or uh, an and or. Let me see. I should just leave him on. Let this guy just fucking make food for now, you know? Uh, where are I, how do I do that real quick? Just because I have other things to deal with, right? Right, right, there we go. Everything's on. So that's why we're running low on food, is because food is not getting made. So now food is going to get made and we're going to be fine. So this stuff is working, doing its magic, go, go, go. That's going to get done. Can they reach that? Still, still unreachable. Dang it. What's wrong with me? There. So like I said, we're going to connect this to this, but I'm going to wait for I'm going to wait for it to get cool in here first and then I'll start feeding it. I don't want to obviously start feeding it right now. Uh, then what I'll do is once I pump it in, then I'll cut it and then that'll be that. So I just wanted to get nice and cool first. There's plenty of hydrogen in here to pump in there and then some. Uh, and then, yeah, it's already getting to work here, which is great. 63 degrees and dropping super fast. Once this thing gets down in temp, we are gonna run in here and try to put down some ice tiles because ice tiles is what creates that buffer that we need. Uh, oh, it's finally done. Okay, so pipe is blocked. So what's in this pipe? What's coming? Is there anything coming out of this pipe? Look how low the water's getting, by the way. Oh my god. Um, nothing. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and just say this was a failed experiment, but at least we tried. Right? It's thought that counts. Just tear it all down. Tear it all down. Tear this down. I get it. I, I just don't know how to handle steam. Seriously, steam is just like, it's just not my thing. 
<laughs> it's just new to me. All right, this hydro sensor should be going off right now, but it's not. So we're going to go ahead and give it a little bit of a kick because this water in here is nice and cool. So we can use it. Let me see. Current pressure is 195 point whatever. Okay, so how let's say if it's, uh, if it is above 190, right? And then I'll open it up and then it closes right away. There we go. Loop. And then it starts to build up there. What if I say 100? Or opens or is closed. Okay, cool. So that when the next little bloop goes in there, that should be enough to trigger it, right? Give me a bloop. Okay, how's this done? 48 degrees. Excellent. Excellent. Um, next on my stream is people gonna be like, wait a minute, where did this come from? <laughs> I'll be like, well listen. <laughs> Let me catch you up on this. It's been it's 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 uh, it's, it's been quite the little adventure. Little offline adventure. Oh, look at this. We have some uh, some piping here that is falling apart. And actually, maybe what we should do is, is replace all this with ceramic. This is probably be where the ceramic needs to go because this water is cold and it's chilling right here in front of this. That's not why it's freezing. What is broken here? Let me see. Fertilization is an issue, obviously. Uh, why does it keep moving? Okay, here we go. Uh, repair Aaron is on the liquid pipe. The. Pipe, oh, the pipe itself is too cold. Yes, so so the pipe itself is just too cold and it's crumbling. So that's fine. So what we'll do is we will swap that out with... Uh, was it the insulated pipe? Hold on a second. Oh, it is insulated pipe. Oh, you know what, man? <laughs> Fuck them kids. <laughs> I don't care about the... I'll, I'll tear them down. Let me see. Was that going anywhere special? Hell no. It was creating a loop, actually. So I guess that loop might have been used for something in the, in the past. But uh, no, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. Let's go back over here. Keep an eye on our business over here. Uh, petroleum's getting a little bit low. Uh, we used to have it packed, uh, but our oil ran out. So I think that was the problem. Why, the reason why. So now that we have plenty of oil, uh, we're actually starting to build up a nice little uh, little puddle again. <laughs> we can start to use some of that. Uh, wow, the lots of natural gas building up here, but we're not actually using it. I wonder what the problem with that is. It's because of this. Is it just not getting? Hmm. There's a little oxygen trapped in here too. So the pressure is not that high. Uh, which is weird. It's just sitting. Oh, it's chilling on this nexus of two different gases. How funny is that? Interesting. Uh, I could pump some of that out and it would just filter itself and that would just get it started. Let me go and do that just to get this room clean because it's going to create some back pressure here that's going to be unnecessary. So let me go ahead and do that. And plus, the more the liquid fills up, the more volume it takes up, therefore, the less room I have for gas. So let's go ahead and make this when it is above, let's say, 100. Yay! So we're pumping that out of there. Lots of gas is going to be coming through here. Let's watch and make sure that it gets separated, should, and it gets dumped into here. It was also pretty, there's a lot of pressure here, actually. So there it is. Good. Getting nice and clean. Getting nice and clean. As long as it doesn't get backed up in this pipe, this will be fine. This whole, like, valve system here that's set up. They're very particular about that. Checking out this again. Uh, 42 degrees, 43 degrees. Once it gets below 32 degrees, that's when I'm going to run in here and start hitting it with the, uh, uh with some ice. Do I have any ice, actually? It's a liquefiable ice. I have 8.9 tons. You know where that ice is? Way over here. Right there. Also not enough to do what we need to do. And interesting that this stuff hasn't frozen again. It's because this is not uh, fertilized. What's the deal with this? Not anybody's errands. Is this thing locked to only a handful of people? It's not. Huh. Doesn't want to... I mean, it's fine. We still have plenty of sleet wheat to keep the food supply up. Notice the food supply is going up. Um, hmm. What do we got with the printables here? Uh, omelets. They'll give us a little boost. Cured a tab. We have zero. Let's go get that. Just in case someone gets sick. By the way, I'm still loving the colors. Still looking good. I think we did a good job. We can still do more. Always room for improvement and home improvement. Come on. Let me see. 37 degrees. I believe we're getting pretty close. We could probably start inching it in there. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a problem because, well, as long as the pressure is the same on the outside inside, which it pretty much is, I guess we're not going to have too much of outside interference when they go in and out of this door in order to do the work. The problem is sometimes they stand in the door. <laughs> they stand in the goddamn door to do this. So, yeah, no, I'm going to go ahead and set them up to... Um... Just some backing plates. It's gonna be quite the trip. I'm not gonna be able to. I, usually I stage it, but I think I, I think I think I could probably make it happen, given that the temperature difference isn't so great and the pressure is even on both sides. So I think I could probably have them just do it. So at worst, it'll make a mess. It'll le leak down in here. It'll open this pressure and drop down here. It's fine. Let me see. So let's go ahead and do this with some ice. I can make ten of them. Oh, maybe I will be able to do it. Let me see. So let me pause first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. We'll do all the ones 
right there first. I still have room for two more. Do at the door, maybe? Just to kind of provide a little bit more. We'll do it at here and here. Okay, so now it's out of that. Now let's watch them go from over here. There they go. Look at that. Look at them go. To here. Oh, it's what not there. Sorry. Alexa's talking to me for some reason. Cancel. Here, Alexa. Here it goes. Look at them. Beat it up. Oh, good. The pressure inside is winning the battle there. So that's fantastic. That means that uh, that these actually might survive this. Uh, I already shared one leaking. Mm, I think that's water leaking from the bottom. That's not one of the pressure plates, is it? Or temperature shift plates? It looks like they are all there. That must be from... Yeah, the water must have, like, kind of grabbed a hold and come up. Because they're... Oh, never mind. It was the first one that went down. That's fine. This is uh, still good, and it looks like the temperature plates are just barely hanging on. Oh, my God. The weeds were... Oh, gosh. No, they're melting. Well, that was a failed experiment. <laughs> oh, man. Here's what we'll do. We're going to open this up for a second. Emergency open door. And then, and then... Water's gonna be pouring out just enough to do that, and then oh, it's gonna vapor lock. <gasps> oh damn, that would, that would be sick if it did. Oh, the door opened there, so yeah. Auto set it quick. I was gonna say at the very least I can try to save some snow here, right? All right, so we'll let that go a little bit more. Uh, it was winning the fight, but unfortunately it was just yeah, it was just not not quite enough there. That sucks. So what are we dealing with here? So there's more, there's so, oh, you know what? Maybe if they, if they were winning the fight, they uh, definitely took on more hydrogen. So I guess that's, that was not true. They were not winning the fight. The pressure inside of the room was being uh, overtaken by the pressure outside of the room. Oh, sad. Let me see, how are these guys doing? They got 23, okay, so they're still blue. We haven't really wrecked this biome yet. This biome up here is chilling with the, lots of wheeze warts just waiting, just waiting. Uh, did we figure out what this was? I think we did a, we did a, a, a look at it here. This one and this one. <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. Up here too. I'm fairly certain we did this. Is like iron and something else, or copper, the metal or something. Let me see. Let's do a uh, emergency here. Oh yeah, that's a one. So we definitely looked at that one. That is an iron volcano. Cool. Uh, I mean, that is cool, but you know, are we really gonna do that right now? <laughs> and this is a uh, saltwater geyser. Okay, cool. So we're going to set these back down to just be one. That'll just let us know that we've looked at those. And we'll go from there. Once upon a time, I didn't like doing that because I thought I was cheating. But you know what? <laughs> we got bigger fish to fry, man. See, this is running out of what? Mushroom. Yeah, we got mushrooms growing over here. Uh, well, I mean, you know. Whenever they get to it. These things are still erupting. They're erupting for another 20 days. So we are getting some liquid drop in, probably because of this. This is dropping down. It's probably cooling some liquid on the way down. and Or cooling some steam on the way down and doing some work that way. This room is 28 degrees. I will wait for it to get to, to much lower before I start to address that. Uh, but that's going to, yeah, that's going to be fine. What are we doing over here now? So this light works. No. Oh, is it, oh, is, do we not have aluminum ore? Oh, is it ore? Do we not have aluminum ore? Let me see. We do. We have 10 tons of it. So this is just not on anybody's list then. Or it's unreachable. That door's open. Anybody come in and out? I thought they could reach it like the. <laughs> oh man. I love it. There we go. Yay! Bristle blossoms. Okay, so we could go ahead and cover this up. We'll just use like a regular ass tile. We're not, doing, we're not doing food tiles up here right now because we might actually just destroy this and just, or not destroy, but redo this for something else. I don't know what, something else. <laughs> just thinking like put some carbon dioxide down here, just pump some in, right? Just pump some in down here, like this. And grow some, uh, some dust caps. Just to close this door, pour in some carbon dioxide and just let it just chill down here. Like I feel like it's totally doable. Problem is that we've been uh, destroying all of our carbon, carbon dioxide. <laughs> we have a ton down here maybe we can steal from. Not really, wow. Huh. Not really. So lots of natural gas. Does that mean that well, we fill the pipe here? So I guess that means that we're what? Yeah, we're bypassing. That's fun. So why don't we go ahead and do this? We've gotten rid of all the oxygen now. So yay, we did that. Uh, 8.2 grams. So yeah, we could go ahead and just put this back up to where it was. Say 1500 or so. It gives this guy plenty of room to breathe. And we're good. What is the steam over here? Oh, funny. Funny. Are we really going to get water inside of our, uh, inside of our supply? How did that steam even get here? How did I steam get here? As long as we have a pool of oil here, we will be fine. 
because oil is heavier than water. We just don't want it to break down over here and start contributing to the problem that we have, or contributing, making a new problem over here. Let me see. Um, check on the thing again. 17 degrees, cool. That'll be done in probably about two cycles. Let's see, this puff prints, man. Or dense puff, it's crazy. Lots of food here. What are we doing in terms of... Oh yeah, we haven't touched any of this stuff yet. I'd rather do this on stream, because this is going to be like an entire two days, which would be like two weeks uh, for you guys, because it's a lot of work that needs to be done. Like this mafic rock, I mean, let me see, this is all mafic rock stored at 242 degrees. Like it's not dropped in temperature at all because there's zero atmosphere out here. So yeah, I, I want to make sure that they, they, we don't touch any of this stuff or something. I don't know. I think I might actually use the infinite storage uh, technique, we'll call it. Because it is a, uh, I do feel like it's something that, um, well, we'll just pretend that it, you're rejecting it into space is basically what I'm saying, right? So we'll just, we'll set up a little storage area for like mafic rock or something that we have now, like, you know, I mean, every single one of these is full. We have just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tons of mafic rock. I'll look to see if there's anything I can do with it, but I think they're just creating a, a you know, quote unquote, infinite space deposit box. I think that might be the way to go. Say, hey, look, some water. <laughs> What's the temperature of the water, though? Hold on, let me see. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's uh, 80 degrees. Oh, wow, nice. That's cool. I mean, it is. Let's see. Is that going to be a problem there? Yeah, actually, it might. I mean, you know, in, in like a thousand cycles, that's not necessary. I should probably, I'll, just, I'll let them do that, but I'll fix that here. Okay, nine. 14 degrees. Come on, get lower. Come on. I want, I want it to freeze this into snow so I could turn around and reuse that, or ice rather, and then reuse that up here. I also want to cool that door. Let me see, this light. Okay, so next problem we gotta solve. We're getting liquid from all kinds of places, but it's not clean. And so one of the things I was thinking is, why don't we redo our sieve setup? We'll move the sieve somewhere else, so we have a little more room for, I don't know what. Uh, I, this thing is so embedded in here, I just don't know if this is where I want to do it. I still want to run some water through here, like some, some dirty water just to get dumped into here and then get, you know, moved somewhere else. But I think what I want to do is set up a sieve, I don't know where though, dang. Um, I just want a sieve to just put water out of here and immediately clean it. Oh my god, it's mostly clean. <laughs> oh my god, okay, I guess we've somehow, I don't know, gotten through some of that. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, cool. Man. We have some pretty heavy carbon dioxide buildup down here. Maybe we can start harvesting this. It's only 113 degrees, it's really not that hot. So we can start harvesting this for our dust cap room. Because they want atmosphere carbon dioxide and temperature 95. We could probably pretty easily do that. Like cool it that like that much by running it through I mean like one just have like one thermo aqua tune or a, a thermoregulator that's just dedicated to that room and it would only have to run very periodically, right? Because it would only have to turn on whenever the temperature gets to a certain level. And once it gets to that level, it would maintain it. So it'll set it all in a loop, basically. Uh, it's a little of a complicated build. I mean, ish. Uh, so it's just a matter of where we want to put the gear. Like this all, this whole setup is just. I, I really love this whole setup here for this, this whole thing. But we're gonna have to repurpose it. Let me see. And that would start with. Yeah, I already see. Bring it. We'll bring this down here, jump it, and then connect it over here. And that will that will basically yeah that'll be good for that. So let's do that now. Not ceramic. Sedimentary rock is fine. Granite's also fine. So we'll bring this down here. Oh, save's coming. Save's coming. That sound is the trigger, man. If I heard that sound while I was walking walk around in real life, I would probably stop. I would stop for a minute to let the world catch up. <laughs> Just in case I accidentally <laughs> mess something up. So what we'll do then is we'll clear this out. And we'll let the... See, it's gonna back up a little bit until this is done. I'll go ahead and disconnect this. So we'll let this let these pipes run out here. Which should be pretty quickly. Let's we'll see if I cut this, then it should come back. There we go. This is not going though, I'm kinda of surprised there. There we go. Done. Okay. So now we will sever the connection here and then rebuild the connection elsewhere, and then this will just go on about its daily business. There we go. Nice cool air coming in just for you. Cool, now we have an entire little network here uh, specifically for our carbon dioxide build. 
Get carbon dioxide in here is gonna be pretty easy. All we have to do is just get a. Let's go and actually close this. Actually, we'll go and remove this door and, re and replace it with a uh, insulated. But getting in here is, is gonna be easy. We're just gonna put down a vent. I'll have them bottle it up and bring it up. I'm not gonna put a pipe or anything crazy. Ventilation carried all the way up here. It's not gonna happen. Uh, and we'll put it just down here in the corner. We're gonna have to put a ladder, of course. It looks like the best place to put a ladder is gonna be. Oh, I'll put it like right here. We'll just kill this. Let me see. I should break through some of this. I think it's probably okay. I think. Let's see. Oh, let's go ahead and actually. Uh, we'll let him build that real quick before we get started. Nah, I'm still. See, doors locked. Open that up. Or auto, rather. It should be nine. And then, I guess we could go ahead and tell him to dig these up. And dig these up as well. Let's just grow it on their own. Get out of here. I, I will probably put another uh, another collection of mealwood somewhere and just set up like maybe like a ranch or something just to feed some dudes. But um, uh, but yeah, what are those things called? They're right down here. Oh dang, he left. They're so slick. Anyway, yeah, those things. That, yeah, there it is. There he is. There it is. What is it called again? Dreco. That's right. Yeah, Dreco. So they're gonna come in and take care of this. And then where am I gonna put that um, machine? Because all the lines around here are pretty used up. Like this is, uh, oh, you know what? Wow, look at that, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. It's, well, actually, you know, we're gonna add some more with the with the gas up here, but um, maybe what we'll do is, should I, I will, I, I will eject some of the gas here, because this is already feeding back. So what I'll do is I'll have them, once they start putting in the, uh, the pipes here, uh, or the carbon dioxide, start filling it up, if we build up enough pressure, then I'll be able to tell them to, uh, uh, then I'll just have them eject all the oxygen out of the top, and then we'll just watch it for, um, for carbon dioxide. I don't think carbon dioxide is really going to break anything. I mean, if anything, it'll get filtered out here, it looks like. Yeah, look at that. So, yeah, it'll get filtered out. So, yeah, that's even better. We could just start filtering it out whenever we want to. Beautiful. Hey, I did some stuff right. Now, in terms of where to put that damn ladder, uh, because there's so many spots here. How can we do it here? I just don't want to, I mean, I build a ladder, I don't want to build a ladder over this stuff, you know? Just gonna get this thing out of here, let's see what we have, the printables! Seek sandstone, good. I don't know how long I've been recording for, by the way, so we're just gonna go until I get this thing figured out and I feel happy, and then we're gonna stop. <laughs> so if this is a long episode on a Friday, then I'm sorry! And also, if I just woke you up, I'm sorry too. Let me see, get a classic ladder, because we can do that. We got it like that. Build that ladder. I'll be able to get over there fairly quickly. I see a need for a uh, either a shoot or oh wait, can I, should I lock this up and have them just come here with shoots? Nah, that's, that's way overkill. <laughs> it's almost... Wait, is it though? Hold <laughs> on, I don't know if it is anymore. Should I make this wall out of plastic just because I can? God, I should, right? I mean, it's like the ultimate insulator. Let me see, what is the? Uh... Let me see, uh, thermal conductivity 0 0.083. What is this? Uh, 0 0.019. Oh, okay, well, you know, I guess technically. -da. And this is gonna be breathable gas. It's gonna, oh, sorry, unbreathable gas. It's gonna be carbon dioxide, which I guess we have bottles up somewhere because it wouldn't show up there otherwise, right? Or we've made bottles of it before. One of the two. Oh, look at that. There's some cancer filler here. What's inside of it? Oxygen. Hmm. There's some, uh, yeah, look at that. Look at that, we already have our carbon dioxide delivery system in order to put everything in there, and it's right here. Isn't this genius? All we have to do is take this and empty it out. So empty storage here. Get the oxygen out of the line, and then we'll empty storage again as soon as it fills up. It's full, actually, there's only 500 grams of oxygen there. Let's we'll go and empty storage again just to get that out. And then what we should see is dudes coming over here and putting it in here. We got a nine. Chinatown, get him, Chinatown. Look at him, zoom. Perfect. That little blip. <laughs> it's a laughable blip of uh, <laughs> carbon dioxide. This is a process that's probably going to take a minute. You know what? I do have this goddamn pipe right here. <laughs> I forgot that I was sending carbon dioxide to space. Oh, man. I don't know how you guys put up with me. Jesus. Hey, my, pl my plan would have worked. <laughs> Obviously, because it was a dumb one. All right, so what's the easy way to get this uh, all in here? It looks like the easiest way is, is going to be to... Let me see, which one's connected to the... Uh, let's do this. We'll use the existing 
<laughs> oh man. And then we'll do this, and then we'll do this. There, we'll just use the existing everything. Uh, this could just get busted up here, and so it's kind of this. It's not connected, so we're not worried about it. Right? Now let's, uh, what's the temperature of everything coming in? Pretty high, I think, right? So if it's above 60 degrees, it's gonna, it's gonna turn that on. But I think the power, yeah, the power's off to the thing, so it doesn't matter. Oh, are you serious right now, Chaos? Oh my god. <laughs> that is not, that's not where you sleep. That's not where you sleep, man. Let me take a picture of that. Uh, you can't really see it, but whatever. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, man. That's not a sleeping spot, Chaos. Right in the door. It's hilarious. Uh, what, is the, what is the priority on this guy? Nine and nine. Oh, he woke up and did the work. <laughs> he woke right up. He was the middle of doing the job. <laughs> and he woke up and he did the work immediately. I fucking love this game. Oh, man. All right, it's cool. So now we have some uh, carbon dioxide getting pumped in. We'll go ahead and uh, sever this from here. That way we get all the carbon dioxide love. Now, where's this coming from? I have a feeling I know where it's coming from, but I just want to see it. It's going to be from all these generators down here. So the more they work, the more carbon dioxide we get. Carbon dioxide coming out of here is going to be pretty warm. Uh, what are we looking at here? 152 degrees. So this room is going to get pretty hot pretty quickly, which means it's going to have a negative impact on everything down here. So what I should probably do is replace all this tile with some insulated tile, which sucks because, oh no, actually they could paint on top of it. Yeah, so it's not going to be a problem. Uh, let's see, obsidian, it's sort of the reactive. Let me see, I want uh, there's some decor, yeah. Oh, you can't build over top of them. Oh, ooh, that's painful, that's painful, painful, painful. Um, yeah, that's a, that, it's a problem because, I mean, for obvious reasons, it's a problem. You know, like, they're going to start... I guess they could just suffer a little bit of, uh... It's such a clean room, man. Look at this. It's such a clean room. Look at the gas. Okay, there's a little bit of carbon dioxide in there. Just pretend you didn't see that. Okay, uh, yeah, I think we should probably go ahead and take a little bit of some precautions and just go ahead and replace all of this with, with, uh, with insulated. And then I could build on top of it, but that's stupid. <laughs> I, I went, I, I, I thought I installed the cat scaffolding mod. That would be perfect for this. So let's go ahead and take this and we're going to make this a one just so we can stop pump, putting gas in there from that direction. And then what we'll do is we'll sever this connection we just made and we'll reconnect the other one. So we'll connect this here. There we go. It's going to make a bunch of, bunch of gases mad. We'll do that. I, I would let it build up, but I think it'll build up faster than we'll, well, maybe it won't actually. Maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah, we'll get lucky. Let's do that. We'll go ahead and cut that there. And I'll get backed up inside of this pipe here, right? Yep, right here. I'll start here, and then I'll get backed up down there. Cool. Which means we have a limited time to do this. So let's go ahead and now tell them to remove all this stuff. Uh, we'll let all this gas drop. It's going to cause a ruckus down here for sure for a minute, but they'll just they'll just pump it right back out, and it'll be fine. Um, let me see. So buildings. They'll make nine. Just get rid of all of this all the way across. And then I'll have them come back and then start putting tiles in. Just like that. That way they'll tear it up as they go. All that, all that, all that carbon dioxide is falling and it's fine. I'll just be mad about it. Good. Look at all of, everything downstairs is getting mad. So many mads down there. There we go. See, painless. Absolutely painless. Actually, I mean, it really wasn't that bad. I mean, this is going to clean up pretty quickly. So, yeah, it's just pumping out like mad. Look at it. <laughs> Get out of there. Okay, cool. It's because, of, yeah, the temperature is all <laughs> jacked in there. Let me see. So, ventilation. So, that was painless. Yeah, it was. Do this. Cancel order. There we go. So, now we have gas coming in. Perfect. Oh, atmospheric pressure. Let me see. Uh, if it is above... We'll see. Let's change everything to above. That'll do it. And it'll just go until it gets uh, full. And then, actually, we can replace these with something else. Let's see, is that going through? Yes, it is. Good. Let me see. So we'll go ahead and should I use? Oh, maybe should I change one above as well, just to get these guys pumping some in? Where's this going to? There's two of them here. Oh, that's going to that. Oops. Changed the wrong thing. Let's wait for a second. I think I changed that wrong again. Let's we'll copy this one. Copy settings here. There we go. Okay, so gas is filling up right now. 
yeah, we, we I want to keep a separation, so we will build the uh, the stuff right on top. Is any water? I can't remember. I don't think so. It looks like it just grows. Slime. Ah, that's right, slime. So maybe we'll build a little bin or something like that for slime. We don't need this thing anymore. Jeez, it was a genius idea that just didn't. Oh, what the heck? Is there no pipe hook up there? Wait, what? How is it over? What? Oh, wow, okay. Oh, you know what? I didn't even get to the top ones either. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just get, just get the gas going from all directions. There we go. Good, and I'll also have them come in here and remove these buildings. What is that made out of? Dirt or something? Perfect. I'll have them redo those real quick. See dirt tiles all the way across the bottom. Let's see what we're looking at. Not nine. Let's make sure it's dirt. It's dirt. Wow, we only have three hundred. Wow. What? Do we really not have any dirt? I think I knew this already, didn't I? Wow, we really don't have much dirt. All right, let's take a look here. We're looking for uh, cultivable soil. Let me see dirt. Lots of dirt. Okay, yeah, we have plenty of dirt around. It's just not any on hand. So this is, I mean, this is right here is already a lot. So we'll go and do this. That's oh, reachable. It's fine. So that's gonna take care of our. Uh, that's gonna take care of pretty basically everything we need, really. <laughs> well, let's take a look around and see where else we need dirt. Wow, I can't believe we're so low on dirt. Uh, God, what else needs dirt for fertilizer? Don't these things need dirt? No, let's do something else. We need slime for the caps. The bristle blossoms. Are they starved for? No, they seem fine. Yeah, I don't know. No idea. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Tomorrow, me, etc. See, oh, look at this. Look, this is uh, quite nice actually. It's not being used for anything. So we'll go ahead and do this. Remove that. Might as well go ahead and remove this and these. There. And they'll go and take care of that. Nice. So now let's go ahead and do this. They can't reach any of that. <laughs> of course. Um, what am I gonna put there though? Airflow tiles made out of what? Aluminum ore. Which we have a lot of. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what we have anymore, guys. And then we'll do dirt tiles. We're gonna lay these out here. Farm tiles made out of dirt. Lots and lots of dirt now. See that? Wow, it builds up so fast. And then right across the whole bottom. The whole bottom. Actually, maybe we leave a gap or something like that so we could use some whatever. Oh, look at this. I'm not gonna be able to do anything here, here anyways. So we'll do that and that. It's kind of annoying. That's really annoying, actually. I mean, I'll just move them up, but still, <laughs> it's still annoying. Uh, these ones, I can, can I move those up? No, not really, because they're overlapping. Let me just start with this, and I'll, I'll figure out what I want to do with that later. Because this entire room, this entire room should be full, right? So I could probably put some up here as well. Although this is a nice little pocket, so that way I don't have to worry about gases leaking out here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's get them started on this and we'll figure it out. Maybe this is where all the, the supplies or something like that which would sit. Oh, and the actual the, the uh, thermal regulator. Yeah, so we'll, we will need a bit of a space for that. So let's go back to the food. It's a farm tile. Oh gosh, Donis is stuck. Oh, Donis. You, 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 you. This is going to be weird right here. <laughs> it's a little pocket of carbon dioxide. All right, let's go and get it back out here. Come on, build some of this. Build some of this. And we'll go ahead and put in the part start the system here. I'm not gonna finish this today, just so you know. Uh, but I am gonna get started here. Let's see, make it out of gold. It doesn't, actually doesn't matter what we made out of because it's not gonna overheat. Is it gonna overheat? Um, I mean it's not gonna run that often, so it's gonna get really hot at first, but I feel like it should need shouldn't need to do that much actual work. So I should not overheat. What do I know? I know, I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it in a little pocket. Just a little pocket all by itself. Not really gonna have to do much. I mean, this, this, obviously, this thing's gonna be turned off or something. But, let me see. Utilities, thermal regulator, put that in there. Or the daytime, let me get the power routed. I hate being interrupted. That's there, good. And we'll have to redo some of this as well, which is, that's not that hard. We'll just run this up and over. I don't really need this setup over here, but I just want to keep it intact just in case. I don't know for what, but you know. 
Oh gosh, here it comes. Ooh, getting so good at that. We have a lot of food, by the way. We should probably work on that. See, this is the problem. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna actually just cut this, this, this. Actually, no, 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 we're gonna use this. So I just wanted to go in a loop, and just keep on processing until it's, uh, until it's cool. This is gonna require a lot of sensors here, so we will uh, sever this here. And let me see, I'll we'll sever this. We want it in and out. We're, we will create our own bypass. And let me see, how do I want to do this? Um, so we're going to need, first off, a valve. So a gas valve, or a shutoff, rather. And then that's going to sit uh, here. So this is basically just going to tell it that, it, yeah, it's cold enough to leave the system. So I should sit it right here. And then what we'll do is put the sensor up there. So it'll be gas thermo sensor. And that's going to sit right there. We're going to connect those two guys. Done. And it's only going to trigger when it's a certain temperature. Otherwise, it's going to keep running in a loop, and that's pretty much it. So, we'll do this. Complete the loop. I think that works, right? Obviously, we need to feed it, so we will, uh, a lot of carbon dioxide build up, which is great. Actually, we're about done. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, we're done. We're, that's, that's good. Good, good job, everybody. Great job, team. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and, uh, let me see. Let me set these guys to... Uh, see, if pressure is over 13. I still want the pressure uh, system in. To just gonna keep this thing, keep everything regulated here. But oh, you know what? No, we are gonna have to um, uh, sever this from the main because we don't need that kind of negativity in here. There we go. And by negativity, I mean uh, we just need our own gas circulating through here, so that way we can keep it cool. We keep contributing warm gas to this setup. We're gonna keep on building up pressure, and it's just gonna turn to a mess. So there you go. So good. So now we have this set up here and we will um, it is way overkill like pumping it pumping this into the main distribution system is overkill it really is hmm I'm gonna do it anyways and then all I do is have this jump so overkill now if we cut this now now this becomes the main distributor point here to go into all the different vents the top vent might go it really might I'm not I haven't really decided yet carbon dioxide room let's go ahead and actually plant some seeds let me see um oh I know what we could do we could automate this whole bitch we could put some slime in here <gasps> oh hmm let me think if we put some slime in here and put it under a tiny little bit of water Right? Like put uh, a couple of containers and put it under a little bit of water, it'll it won't uh leak like nasty gas anywhere, like polluted gas anywhere. It's just, that's that takes a little bit of, of setup here. Um it'll be a bit awkward to do, but it is doable. So what I'll do is I'll do this like this. I see we're missing a wire. This whole system is also uh, a bit problematic because yeah, we have the gas and everything, the 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 refeed here, which actually all this needs to be pumped into this line here. So, oh, that's not too hard. It looks like we just have to flip something. We already have the hook up here, so this will go into here. So that'll all feed into this system. It goes in. It comes out. And it'll get jammed up if it, uh, oh, whoops, actually, if it doesn't get jammed up, so let's go the other way. Whoops, I messed this up. That's the way that's supposed to go. There. So, yeah, if it comes out this way, we're going to cancel this, cancel this. It's going to come out here. It's going to say, wow, this is not the right temperature. Boop, get back in the system. Get back in the system. Get back in the system. It's going to keep going like that. Um, and then it'll keep going in circles until it, well, actually, I think I'll put a shut off over here as well. Uh, but, yeah, it'll keep going in a circle until it uh, gets cold. And then that should be it. So yeah, I think I had to put a gas shut off, shut off over here. I can't quite remember actually if that was a thing. Just to stop it from flowing in to the system here, right? Because otherwise it'll keep taking turns. No, it should be fine. It should be fine. It should actually run itself out. Let me see. So cool. That's done. Let's go and go plumbing. And we're going to put a bottle empty right here. It's made out of cemetery rock. Good. It'll be done sooner rather than later. I also have to sever this from, let me see, 
is a very complex setup. Cut this and all these. Okay, thank you. That kind of clears things up a little bit. And we go and get rid of this and this and this. We'll rebuild those if we need to, but we have enough carbon dioxide in here to, uh, to last us a while. So I'm not worried about that. So now let's get a good look at this. So the, that pumps into there, it comes over here, and this needs to be... Oh, this is fine. Yeah, this goes out here. Okay, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, so if I turn this on, it should just start circulating on itself. Let's, let's try it, see what happens. Da, 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 da. There they go. Let's watch the gases. Nice. Good, good, good. Uh, not just really down here because it's oh yeah, because it's not going through the system here because this has not been flagged to uh, do anything. So let's see, where's it getting jammed up? Oh, it passed it. Okay, yeah. So it, it is. This is hooked up wrong. Uh, guys, it's been a while since I built one of these. Um, it is. It is simple, but I'm I'm clearly messing it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's getting jammed up because this thing is blocked, and it's blocked because... But it's not blocked though. Oh, is this not hooked up here? Oh my gosh. That's so funny. So this is what I was thinking. Yeah, let's see. Uh, it needs to be a certain temperature, right? Yeah, it's not that cold in here right now. So let's go and cancel that. Sorry, Dad. Just cancel that. Oh, sorry. Cancel. Cancel. Okay. Cancel. Oh. Okay, so temperature does say if it's uh, if it's above 43 degrees to let it go. So that it is. We want it to go if it's below. If it's a uh, uh, below, or sorry, if it's above. Um, wow, it's, it's actually it's, it's chill already. Hold on a second. Let's let it run for a minute. How cold is the gas in here? Is it already cold? Oh, well, it's 89 degrees. You know what? Wow, it's actually not that bad. Like it's getting it's getting chilled here, uh, pretty quickly. So yeah, like I said, it's gonna just reach a certain temperature and then just stop. Oh wait, I don't have a bypass, so it's not gonna stop. <laughs> um, but if I, if I stop it though, if I have this hooked up to this to stop this whenever it gets to a certain temperature, then it should. Hell, I don't know. I think I did this a little bit wrong, but let's just see what happens. Let's say if it's uh, if it's below uh, sixty. Oh, sorry to interrupt. What's up, kid? You have to go to the bathroom. Thank you for tech. Dude, just go to the bathroom. I love you. Okay, now it's Lubin. Oh, which is gonna get crazy, look quiet. A crazy, uh, yeah. What was that? Let's see. Uh, we'll say it's below. So now I'm distracted here. Uh, if it's below, sorry, if it's above, then turn, then turn this on to eject it. So if it's, oh, sorry, if it's below, um, uh, let's say 80 degrees, then eject it. Good. But it is gonna get it's gonna get like just like ridiculously cold in here because this thing's gonna continue running. So let's just get it to a temperature and then I'll and then I'll figure it out. But honestly, I might just go ahead and ban this for now and just let this thing do its work. Um, because it is cooling the oxygen. It is getting cold in here, and these things are starting to grow already. So we're doing good things. Oh, whoops! How did this happen? Can I have them uh, jump down? No, not really. Okay, so it's gotta go. And this one is. Oh yeah, of course. Fill that out. And then copy settings. Whoop. Okay. Now we go. Alright, so this is gonna go and pump forever. Pump, 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 pump. 16 degrees. Wow, it's getting really cold. Let's go and actually solve this today. Um, yeah, I, I do have to I do have to have a bypass going in. Like even like yeah, going in. So this is good to keep it in a loop, but yeah, I have to have a bypass going in. I feel like I'm overthinking this, and it's late, and I feel like there's a reason why. That's why Duckling came in here to tell me he went potty because uh, it's super late, and uh, he shouldn't be out of his room. So he was just warning me. <laughs> if you hear something, Dad, it's just me breaking the rules. <laughs> so let's just do it this way, and then I'll probably think of a reason why this is wrong uh, <laughs> later, and then I'll correct it. But for now, I think this is probably fine. Uh, where do I put this guy? Mmm, oh, it sucks because this thing's constantly pulling in air. Maybe I will just turn that thing off. Anyways, yeah, let's we'll put in here, and then we'll put no, 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 another gas shut off here. And then we'll connect it there, and then we'll uh, sever this guy here, and we'll say that's not connected, right? Okay, cool. And then what we'll do is we'll say when you're done, you you bypass to go in. Whoops. Did something weird. There we go. There. And then we'll 
probably need some, some 10 watts. We need some like 10 watts in there. there we go. This will solve the problem. It's already bypassing, look at that. Which is fine because it's a perfect temperature already, so. This is this is a system that's gonna be this is a system that's only gonna be used like a handful of times and it's gonna stop. So it's not really gonna use that much um, power overall. You guys can do this stuff too. Steel, steel for reals on the gas thermos. Whatever, it's fine. It costs like five. Whatever. I'm not even gonna this price steel too. <laughs> Everything is steel. So what we'll do is we'll set these guys up once we're done to only trigger. Well, it's gonna actually it's gonna stop by itself. Let's get to a certain comfortable temperature. So I'm not worried about it. And so this is whenever it is a uh, whenever it is below or above. What is this supposed to be? 80? Yes, when it's above 80, then it's going to send a green signal to open the doors there. So it should actually stop. Oh, is this coming in above 80? Oh, some of it is. Okay, so it's doing. Yeah, it's doing work. There you go. That's what I want to see. Oh well, I, yeah. not quite, but as long as it keeps processing, it'll be fine. It's just not the loop that I had really anticipated, you know? And this is locked, so it's fine. Good. And we have some dust caps coming. We could go ahead and save this now. Yay. We'll go ahead and just uh, do that. This room is taken care of. This room is taken care of. And we'll, we'll have to come back and check it out and make sure that it's not, like, freezing itself. But this thing's only, yeah, this thing's only tuning just a handful of things at a time. So yeah, I think it's good. And yeah, awesome. And it's dark and everything. Perfect. Uh, oh, slime. That's right, slime. I wanted to get some slime in there. Oh, and some water too. That's right. That was the other thing I wanted to do. So we'll go see. We'll do water. And we'll make that like a nine. We just need enough to get to get these these squares full. And then I'll put a container in here, like right smack dab in the middle, like one, eh, one, right in the middle. Are they not in anybody's list? No pain delivery? Oh, is there not a pump that pumps uh, water? Oh. <laughs> oh man, what a dumb problem. Like seriously, we're just, just, god dang it. Uh, it's just gotta be a better way. There is a better way, and it's a fast, easy solution. Let's go plumbing. And we'll go liquid bottler, we'll put a liquid bottler here. We'll make this an emergency, not steel, please God. And then what we'll do is we'll just attach this pipe right here. So we'll just go, done. There's water in that line. So that that's how they get the water out of there. Jeez. <laughs> oh man, what time is it? Yeah, we're gonna wrap. Hey, I hope you guys have a great weekend though. I know that things have been crazy lately and I hope you guys are being safe. Um, but yeah, that's all I'll say. Just be safe. Be safe. Uh, good, this is done. Let's go ahead and move some slime over here. Although I'll wait until we get some water. Mm, auto bottles, you sweep only. Let's see, auto bottle. There we go. Now we should have some errands. Current errand, Martha. Let's follow Martha. See what Martha's doing. Look at that. Putting it to use. Putting it to use. Let's, follow, let's actually follow, follow Martha. We'll watch this in, in action here. Get it, get it, Martha. Bloop. Let's see how much that does. I want both these, all three of these tiles full. Now I'll go and actually tell them to go and start moving some of that uh, slime over so that it's going to be organic. And we'll do slime. And I don't think we need 20,000. We'll just do like, I don't know, maybe like 500 or something like that. Right? This doesn't seem like that much. This doesn't seem like that much actually. We'll do like a thousand. There we go. I'll make it like a nine. So no penny deliveries, but somebody should be getting on that soon because Chinatown's gonna drop off another load here. Thank you, buddy. Any of you? Yeah, okay, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Chinatown, please. thank you. <laughs> I swear Declan does that too. <laughs> eh, they do good? Eh, eh, eh. All right, what's up with the slime here? No penny deliveries. Why is that? Do I not have slime? Tell me I don't have slime. I do have slime. I have 35 tons of it. Right there. So this must be a nine then. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh, how are we doing over here with this setup? Oh, baby. Let's go ahead and get the temp shift plates rebuilt. And we can't because we don't have the ice anymore. Look at that. None of that. None of that. I don't know where it went, but 
Yep, okay, that's fine. This is, uh, this actually is basically done. And we got some water build up, so it's already kind of solved itself, I guess, over time. And then we'll go and just draw a pipe to this. And that'll get this guy pumping. Pump it in there, there we go. All the ice cold, look at that, look at that, look at that. And we'll let it go until it gets nice and nice, nice and full. I noticed that there was, oh, they, they made, the, they came over and they actually built a gas pipe there. So we'll let it get, not too full. We we'll want to stop it when it gets to maybe like, uh, maybe like 500 or something like that. But look how cold it is. Come on, come on. It's priming the line, it's priming in the line, look at that. Comes through here, it's gonna lose some temp. Look at that, wow, it actually loses a lot of its temp. And then we're gonna stop it there. We don't want it to get too, 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 too dense. Otherwise, it's gonna start doing damage to this room here. So this room is at uh, negative 25, negative 24. It is actually taking a little bit of, uh, of a hit here. Maybe we have to get the ice in there sooner rather than later. Yeah, I think I think we do. Let's go ahead and take a look and see where this ice is over here. Let's see, uh, see liquid. Oh, sorry. Um, consumable ore. What am I looking for? What is it? <laughs> ice. There it is. Liquefiable. Duh. Oh my. What was wrong with me? Oh, there's no liquefiable on the list. Okay. Sometimes I wonder, and then then uh, then that happens. Let me see. Ice. 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 That is accessible, but God, I don't want to take it out of that biome. Looks like I don't have a choice. I can actually just scrape more off the top here. Let me do that. This this biome's gonna get wrecked eventually anyways, so. We'll do this. And we'll have them come across and get all this here. And we'll make this an emergency. Okay. So they're gonna do that super fast because I think I may have kind of wrecked myself doing this. Oh, it's still getting colder. So it's fighting it, it's fighting it, but it could definitely use the support. It really, really needs the support. You know what it is? It's the density of the hydrogen that's still in the room that's helping here. So now, question is, or actually, not, it's not a question. It's really just a matter of time. As long as I can win here, uh, win the win the thermal fight here, then I should be converting this to liquid. So we should start seeing, I mean, price right at the top. This start getting colder, and it'll start converting some of the gas around it. God, there's so much steam there. So much steam. Technically, this should work, man. Technically, <laughs> right? See, negative 20, negative 55. Look at the hydrogen. More than the gas pipe. The wheeze wart's chilling, though. For negative 54, negative 55.4. It means moving just slightly, but yeah, like I said, once we get that... Looks like there are only four left. Oh, okay, cool. Nice, very nice. Well, I'm going to do this, too, just so we have some extra. Problem is, now they're going to run it all the way across the goddamn map. So let me go and set this up. And then I'm getting the hell out of here. And you guys can go to sleep. 34. Well, that's not enough. Let's have to do some. Three. That's not enough to do a job, though. I figured I'd get enough from this deal here. Okay, they're, they're still moving it. Let me uh, let me go turn this thing off over here. I mean, I want it over there, but I don't necessarily need it over there right now. So, yeah, five. There we go. So... I think I should come down here and get the rest, looks like. So I'm gonna step down again. And then one, two. That'll give us a little bit more. Good, and they can still get out. <laughs> and they can still get out, that's the, that's the important thing. That gives me how much liquefiable? Ice, 9.6 times. This will be enough here. And that was what? Did I just add to the list? Can they go in here? They can. Okay, good. I know I locked it for a period of time. Okay, so that should be enough to get at least a handful in there, which will help immensely. Oops. Utilities, temperature plates, ice. Oh yeah, this will give me all that I need. Um, oh god, this is gonna be... I just, I'm so worried about doing this because they come in here with other suits and everything. And I know I should let one person come in and do it, but I want to just tackle it and be done. So... <laughs> Okay, now we just wait. Quickly, 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 quickly. Hydrogen is still super cold in there. It's, uh, I mean, there's some, there's some warm spots here, but the hydrogen is still cold. As long as the hydrogen is still sub-zero, I feel like this is a win here. 
I still want to see pools of liquid happening, you know? Good. All right. I think that's good, right? Uh, negative 24, negative 23. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's actually matched the temperature of the hydrogen, so they'll just neutralize each other and it should be fine. Um, I wonder if I should... Well, well, we'll come back and check on this, but I think for now, we are good. My vent is closed. This is going to start converting, phase changing that. Okay, cool. I think we're done. <laughs> wow, man. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Uh, a little intimate session with just us. I hope you guys are... I guess you're probably asleep right now, so... <laughs> hope you guys enjoy your weekend or whatever it is you guys have planned. And uh, like I said, be safe. So have a good night. I will see you later.